Ang atong i-discuss karon is ang area of a triangle using coordinates. So ang problem is mangayo siya area of a triangle tapos ang given sa problem is ang mga coordinates sa vertices sa triangle. Okay, so mo ni siyang formula area is equal to 1 half times matrix ta sa calculator na 3 by 3. So proceed ta sa atong first problem. Para mas masabda, no? So, determine the area of the triangle bounded by the straight lines x plus 2y is equal to 7, 3x minus 4y is equal to 1, and 2x minus y plus 6 is equal to 0. So, uh, method number 1 is using tung formula ganina na 1 half times katong matrix na 3 by 3. So, ana ang problem na naay tulok ka lines na nag-intersect. So, for example, mauni si... Uh, for example, mauni si x plus 2y is equal to 7. Uh, mauni si, for example, 3x minus 4y is equal to 1. Then, kani is si 2x minus y plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so, uh, let's say, for example, set na to ni as ang vertex number 1, vertex number 2, and vertex number 3. Okay, so itong goal karon is makuha ang coordinate sa vertex sa kada intersection. Ay, ay, sa kada triangle. Okay, so makuha siya using mode 5-1 sa calculator, mode 5-1. So, first, uh, kuha na ito ni, you have 1, 2, 7. Tapos, kanina po na equation, you have 2, negative 1, tapos dapat negative 6, kay dapat ang 6 naka-transpose sa pika side. So, vertex 1 is equal to negative 1, 4. So, negative 1, 4. So, try na to vertex 2. Again, using mode 5, 1. So, vertex 2, 1, 2, 7. You have 3, negative 4. 4, 1. So, vertex 2 is 3, 2. Then, finally, vertex 3. Uh, okay, vertex 3 is 2, negative 1, negative 6, transpose ang 6 sa pikas, tapos 3, negative 4, 1. So, vertex number 3 is negative 4, negative, eh, negative 5, negative 4. Okay, since na naman ta sa tulo ka coordinate sa vertices, pwede na nato ma-apply ang formula na area is equal to 1 half times uh, 3 by 3 na matrix. So, x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so paki-input sa calculator, 1 half times negative 1, 4, 1, 3, 2, 1, negative 5, negative 4, 1. So, mode 6, 1, 1, uh, negative 1, 4, 1, 3, 2, 1, negative 5, negative 4, 1. Okay, so, click AC, tapos shift 4, 7 for determinants, then shift 4, 3, matrix A. So, the answer is negative 40. Pero, uh, okay, number 1 ha, I, kung nag-negative inyong answer, paki-erase lang ang negative sign since area is positive 1. Then, ayaw mo kalimot na i-divide pa ang katong answer na to into 2. Okay, so 1 half times 40. So, the answer should be 20. Okay, again ha, careful lang mo. Okay, basig, pakita niyo sa calculator na 40 ang answer. Okay, mag-answer din mag letter D. So, don't forget na i-divide pa to siya og 1 half. Okay, so the answer should be letter C. Okay, so that is method number 1. So, proceed ta sa method number 2. Kay, na may chance na delete na to ma-remember katong inato na method katong magamit tag matrix so karon magamit tag other methods na medyo apart siya sa trigonometry mauto siya ang Heron's formula so if ma-remember pa ang Heron's formula 
uh, the formula for that is area of a triangle is equal to S times S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Okay, what is S? S is the semi-perimeter. So, A plus B plus C divided by 2. So, what is A, B, and C? Si A, B, and C, mauna siya ang mga length sa kada side sa triangle. So, for example, this is uh, length A. Kanina side is length A. Kanina side is, let's say, si length B. And let's say, mauna si length C. Okay, so... Unsaon pagkuha ang mga length ani na sides. So since given ang mga points, pwede ta mo gamit og distance formula. So kung remember pa, distance formula is equal to square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay, so apply lang ang distance formula. So let's solve for um, side A. So Square root of um, 3 plus 1 squared plus 2 minus 4 squared. Okay, pakishift store A. Next, side B. So, square root of negative 5 plus 1 squared plus negative 4 plus Ay, minus 4 squared. So, paki shift store B. Then, solving for side C, the last side, square root of negative 5 minus 3 squared plus negative 4 minus 2 squared. Paki shift store C. Okay, next is, since na naman tayo side A, B, and C, isolve na to next ang semi-perimeter na to. So, semi-perimeter is simply A plus B plus C divided by 2. Okay, so mo na ang semi-perimeter which is 11.7. So, finally, masolve na na to ang area. Okay, so solving for area, area is equal to, okay, by the way, 11.7 na shift store D ba to? Check na to. Okay, so ang 11.7 ganina, pakishift store D lang to. Okay, so nakashift store D na, pakistore sa D. So karon mag-apply na ta sa Heron's formula. So square root of uh, D. Since ang S is nakastore sa D, times D minus A, times D minus B, times D, uh, oops, D minus C. Okay, so... Ah, uh, sa manta na mali. Ah. Uh, ah, okay. So 11, ah, okay, 19.9 ang answer niya. 19.9. So round off, the answer is 20 gihapon. So siguro na alam tayo gamay ng ligas, maybe because sa to ang 11.7 since dili mong good try na to habalik ka. A plus B plus C over Okay, i-shift story D na to Balik Para kompleto yun ang mga decimals So, square root of D Times D minus A D minus B D minus C Okay, so Exact na ang answer Okay? So, if na may panguta na um, please just leave a comment. So, sa next video na to, ang atong i-discuss is area gihapon, instead of a triangle, this time is area of a polygon using coordinate system. Okay, so, if nakatabang yun na video sinyo ha, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel. So, thank you for watching and God bless sa inyong review.